Um, you have to... So, special relativity is one thing, general relativity is hard. Yeah. Um, I try to get the basics of general relativity to the audience, and I will do my best on Tuesday. I do describe it, uh, and I keep it simple, and in the end, they get a sense of it, but you know, there's limits of what you can do or what they even want to know, but I try to get the essential ingredients of general relativity across to them. String theory, I haven't had anyone who can even communicate to me what it is. Nonetheless, you know, an audience, mm -hmm. uh, general public, you know, I'm none the wiser after I see even a public talk in string theory. I'm like, yeah, I got nothing. So I would say that's getting pretty hard, but I think with the right thought, the right set of analogies, most things can be somehow communicated, but it becomes like an art form, like poetry, and you really have to work hard at it. And there is a the real fine line is doing things exactly right or taking a little artistic license. And I'm willing to take a little artistic license, but not a lot. That is, the basic idea has to be right, but I will fudge the answer a little bit. And I will give you a, just a brief example. In my talk, I talk about measuring the expansion rate of the universe back in time. So I describe the Hubble constant, which I can explain to people, and then I say, essentially, I measure the Hubble constant back in time. Right. And that's how I explain our measurement. Unfortunately, when we measure what we did with our supernovae, we do not measure the Hubble constant back in time. What we really measure is the, what I would say is the integral of the Hubble constant back in time. And that turns out to be very difficult to explain to a lay person audience. So I don't try. What I instead do is I explain it as I do, knowing that in reality what we do is we have to do something a little different. But I can provide an analogy of measuring the Hubble constant back in time that people get, people understand, and I think is sufficiently close to the truth. That it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. Yeah. But on the other hand, when people just do things that are just wrong, I mean, you know, just don't have any relevance to the truth, or, or made up, then I'm not so happy about that. So, it's a trade-off. Okay.